here's the nest. So I'm out here at my sister's farm and I've been called out to destroy two underground yellow jacket nests. This has been an extremely busy yellow jacket season for me. Usually I deal with two or three a season, but this is number seven or eight in the last month. The first one was in a barn above ground. The second one in a friend's eve, also an above ground yellow jacket nest. The third one was in a cherry tree that almost stung my mom. The fourth one was also a very large above ground yellow jacket nest in an oak tree. The fifth one was in a neighborhood on the front porch of a house. The sixth one was below ground along a fence line. My brother almost got stung. And this one makes seven and eight. We're gonna dig both of them up and we're gonna feed them to the chickens. Now this is in a pretty bad location. It's in the backyard of my sister's house. And as you can see in the background there, there's a swing set and playground. My nieces and nephew love playing out here, but they haven't been able to play for a few days because of these dangerous yellow jackets. Now this nest is very active. It's hard to find, but it's a hole in the ground and the yellow jackets are constantly flying in and out. So I'm gonna suit up, grab the shovel and dig it up. We'll take a look at it and then go get the second one. You absolutely wanna make sure the zippers and the Velcro are tight, that no yellow jackets can squeeze through. If there's a tiny hole, they will find it. And they have, it's not fun having a yellow jacket fly around inside the net on your face. There, that's all secure. Also, I gotta put on these gloves. That's another place they like to attack if they can get under there. It has a stretchy arm there, so they shouldn't be able to get in, but it's possible. Without this bee suit, I wouldn't be able to do all these yellow jacket removals. Okay, this hole is just under these grapes, so I'm gonna have to move some vines and start digging. Right now, they're coming and going, and it's pretty calm. But as soon as they feel vibration on the ground, they come out in full attack mode, ready to sting whatever is trying to get their nest. The buzzing is starting to become pretty intense and they are flying out of here. But the nest is actually more this way. So here's the nest. What a cute little yellow jacket nest. It's not very big, about the size of a grapefruit, but there are a lot of yellow jackets and they are not happy. If you look at my gloves, they've been trying to sting it and the stingers are stuck in the leather. I'm glad that's thick enough that they are not getting me. So this is the first one. Let's go get the second one. We'll dig it up too and then feed these to the chickens. Here's the location of the second ground nest. It's inside an orchard that my sister planted and they flagged it for me. And this one is also very active. It looks like a mouse hole that they've converted into an underground nest. They're coming and going, so we're gonna dig it up as well and see how big this one is. We'll remove the flag. Oh, we have the nest right here. That's a pretty good one. They're attacking me, they're attacking my face, my gloves, and that's because they wanna defend their larva and pupa. Now that I have victory with their nest, I'm gonna fill in the hole and then we're gonna go see if the chickens are hungry. Let's see if these chickens want some yellow jacket larva. They're kind of cautious, but they are coming. Uh-oh, the llamas are curious. I don't think they want the yellow jackets, but they're pretty curious. I hope they don't spit on me. Hey, let the chickens have their food. Shoo. Well, as you can see, the chickens are really enjoying the yellow jacket larva. They're gonna take those protein packed meals and turn them into eggs we can eat. Now you'll see this footage of the chickens eating the yellow jackets at the end of three different episodes. And that's because I filmed all those episodes in the same morning. I went from location to location dealing with these dangerous yellow jacket nests. Usually I do mouse and rat trap videos, but this season we have so many yellow jacket problems. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I've posted over 900 videos on YouTube, and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you wanna see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, and sometimes yellow jackets, stay tuned.
Now let's see if we can get this rooster to crow. They didn't like that. 